There's an interesting item in Bloomberg. Headline was the U.S. has more copper than China, but no way to refine all of it. And it's a really interesting profile of the Freeport smelter in Miami, Arizona, one of the few copper smelting facilities left in the United States. Um, as a lot of that refining and melting and 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 um, that sort of uh, part of the copper chain has moved to China. Um, the facility has kind of re- remained afloat, even though its its costs are about three times higher than Freeport's operations outside of the U.S. It, it sort of it processes ore from nearby Freeport mines. It produces sulfuric acid as well. Um, and, it, and the article is was interesting because it really highlights um, how China has been able to sort of control the copper market by heavily subsidizing the smelting and refining operations so that um, smelting and refining in other countries and Western countries like the United States becomes uneconomical. And then basically that allows China to control like the bottleneck for copper entering the, the global market. 